Hello everyone, Duke here with part 9 of this Dukes campaign, Total War Attila. And uh, we're picking up after the crushing of rebellion in Germano Sarmatia. And other than that, things remain pretty static. We continue to develop and grow and hopefully see uh, some of these guys get picked off one by one by the Hunnic hordes sweeping across the land. Uh, like Attila hasn't even turned up yet, so it's not even the worst of the Huns that we've seen yet. And so I think they're going to get more powerful soon. But yeah, hopefully they'll just keep running around, raising, attacking people, and make a real nuisance of themselves. So uh, I'm going to scout out a few of these towns here just so we can keep up to date with what's going on, and then I'm going to start sort of exploring this area here. Just for my own curiosity, I'm not going to go here uh, with any armies. <laughs> it's too far away. Uh, right, so uh, I'm going to win the town. See what happens. It's tempted to make a move into the British Isles. Wow. Well, because we have a navy that's so strong that we can pick off any armies that come to try and take it back. Um, but it, it's it's a long way to go. And if we threw all our military resources that way, we've got nothing to keep our home provinces secure. So I'm not going to do that. Not for a while anyway. I think the next place to expand will very likely be Germany. Somewhere. Research foreign siege method methods. Oh, failed it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Wasn't too. Well, I wanted. I wanted this. So, uh, yeah. No harm, no foul. All right, money's going up again too, and we're saving quite a lot of money, which is fantastic. Uh, let's do that. And I don't care what abilities they get because I'm using these guys to train. But yeah, look at this. Yeah, it's really good public order stuff for now. And if we move the army out, they'd still be positive for now. Which is really good. That's a turnaround from last time. We didn't have that before the elements came. So we have really turned things around in this region. I'm very happy. And yeah I just uh, what the hell does it start coming this way? The dilly dallying over here. East German acceptors have been hauled for a long time but they're not scary. Gepids. Oh, Gepids are very weak indeed. I wonder if they've just been like raiders. Yep. Yeah. They've got no anything. So if they have a rebellion, which I'd like to have soon, they will die. So. Probably it's time to say goodbye to the Gepids. Right. Yep, the Visigoths have settled here in Greece. You have things to attend to. There's a bit of wasteland around here, which I like. It gives us a barrier. I think Gothic Scans is up to something. What are they getting from? What's the fertility here? This seems pretty good, actually. Meager. Right, so some fertility is ours. I was in field, not a. Yeah, fine. Alright, they've gone for the food one. Right. Okay. Alright. I wondered how they were making more food than us, but that's because they've got a field which makes more food. We are raising livestock, which is less food but more money. That's fine, we're not doing any right now. Halvad. You can... Yeah, cheap construction and... Uh, a bit more authority for public order bonus.
Uh, yeah. And the construction costs less. And anything better here? Not particularly. Yeah, I like that. The artist plus five proper quarter point uh, bonus. We like that. Okay, again, and not much to do. So, uh, just gonna save this game. Oops. Not bad. Well, like 70 turns in, and this is a sum total of our efforts. <laughs> but it could be worse. It's good to have this place secured. We're not far from having Germanos, so make sure secured. And we can walk down there anytime we want because we're snow attrition immune. So once this is under control, which it nearly is, I'd say when this hits like near enough 100 and the buildings are built, that's going to keep it secure. We'll walk down and I think we'll sell here. Because then our neighbours will be the Bastardians who are, ooh, who are under siege. That's probably the Venedians. I think who are, or whoever that's, Slovenians, who are. Oh no, they're, they're still alive. They've got one region, but they're weak. Yeah, it must be them, because they're not at war with anyone else. I'd like to expand this way, actually, but I'm not I'm not going to attack the Bastardians, because they seem quite tight with the Huns. Yeah, so... That would be... Foolish. Saxons have got a third stack being built now. Super meetings. Uh, last time meeting them seemed to work well, so I'm going to do that again. But that's a bit odd. Point trespasses. Yeah, I think the Rugi has turned up here for a little bit. Oh well. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, and then building all this stuff in this region has been built. Good. Upgrade the dikes a bit more. Yeah, this is nice. Making some good money here. Growth is growing. Yeah, it's not too much need to have the army here anymore. I don't think the elements are going to come all this way now to try and fight us. Let's hope not. Uh, yep, yeah, just as I kind of suspected, the Visigoths have really made a home here. Macedon, oh, Macedon. Surprise. That is not possible. Again, not much to do. Elements are really unpopular now, especially with the Burgundians, they don't like them. Oh no, they're starting to like them. Great, fantastic. Why? Oh, because they're fighting the Huns. That's true. Yeah. But they don't like the Burgundians. So. Uh. Big penalty, definitely a penalty against overalls. Alright, so, okay, I'll double check first. Unreliable. Hmm, I wonder if we can pay him to stop drop the defensive alliance. That would be quite funny. Opportunities to, yeah, I wonder if we can. Greetings, friend. Um, we will speak together of whatever you what wish. Have? Yeah, have a defensive alliance. That can warm our hearts.
Okay, so it's somewhat possible if you spend all that money. Not tempting right now, but cool idea. So faction leaders have random traits that affect diplomacy with them. And give them prejudices against certain factions. to see it. The Huns have appeared. There's another horde there, as you can see, set up tents there. Oh, we'd love to see it. Maybe we're going to see some real devastation here. Something that we can capitalise on. Oh, that would make my day. I really would. I need it. Right. Uh, the tribes go fractious. Two groups within it have been caught fighting to prove who was the most bloodthirsty. Let's organise a fight. They just need to let off some steam. Let off some steam, Bennett. This might actually fall, you know. That's not very well defended at all. Ooh, we should have my spy there. Can we get more spies yet? Or are we still at our cap? Yes, we're still at our cap. Right. I know that's for champions, but the cap also applies to all agents. Right, so. Keep looking around here. So, Eastern Rome's taken that way. Okay, we now have the Royal Household. So, get an extra 5% wealth from cultural buildings. So that's good. So let's increase that a bit. So we can increase this now, get another 650 here. And we can, can we afford the squad? Yeah, of course we can. And we can, we can certainly absorb the food as well. So take that. And, oh, 20 turns though. Oof. Don't like it. I can suspect cavalry, but I don't think cavalry is something we need to focus on. Uh, nice. I'm going to start working on the wheel motor. I might just start making a dent in it anyway. That's good. We've got the meat hole. And we can build one here as well, that means. Oh no, we can't, we can't afford the food cost yet. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need another, re another region. Do we want to do that? Maybe we don't take that, because the Huns are still like, running around here. This is... I don't think I will take that. I'll just keep this as it is. I'm happy enough. Military presence. If we take the military presence out and take off the military crackdown at 17, we're at plus one. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to hit the army here to help turbocharge its public order increase. But I think I'll leave it. And something might just be happening here, which means that we can take off a scanzer. You never know. Not really. I wonder if the elements are worth God in heaven, spare my R's. Well, why do you trouble my digest? They really hate us. Uh, oh well. Oh, we're starting ranking six now. Go us. 
I think that would deter people from going to war with us. Yeah, it's going to give us chosen warriors and Nordic spearmasters. Can those things be upgraded? So basically, I'm just oh elite Nordic spirit are way down the line. Um, okay. So actually, no, that was just Nordic spearmen, not Nordic spearmasters. So basically, these are like the creme de la creme of this chain, really. I think they're going to be good boys to have. Yeah, I'm going to bet for those. It'd be good to have some of those in in the old army. Saxons have plenty of men running around now. Like Huns. I'm looking forward to the Huns. I really want to see them do some. If they start besieging Gothic Scanza, I'm going to be unbelievably happy. Come on, do it. Yes! They're doing it. And if the, I think it's going to happen. But the Huns are coming this way. That's a bit worrying. They didn't declare war on us though. So that's alright. Spend some of this then. Is the way that we can spend it? I'd like to spend some control. Influence, influence, influence. Um. <laughs> Do you reduce it? That's the question. Oh, I don't know. I've never been much good with that. Right, Nordic. Um, Hanik. Eating all my food. I really hope they go away. Frankly, this was not part of the plan. So I won't got the scans stuff for myself. Fill this with some cheap units to help colonise it should it fall. Mm. I'd rather use this army though, it's, not, it's kind of tied down there. I'll use our army. Let's just keep our fingers and toes crossed. Oh, flocked him with the spy, yeah. Okay, well, Constantinople still exists.
Oh, they stopped the siege. That's not. How inconvenient. Eastern Rome is uh, on the warpath there, coming up along North Africa. Belisarius come early. Judea is dead. Is that the Eastern Romans? Now it's the Sassanids. Oh boy. Sassanids are not mucking around. So like they're on the, east, on the warpath. That's a shame. Did they raid it? Looks like they did. But I don't think we're going to get as good an opportunity to actually... Oh, but this Hunnic army is right here. That's... We can't leave this undefended because they'll jump on that. But I really want to go and take advantage of this. But it's just too dangerous. We can't leave that undefended with these Huns here. That's just asking for it. There's no guarantee we'd even win. Right. Nordic Spear and replace Nordic Heavy. See what they are. Okay. They get spear walls as well, that's quite nice. Yeah, I think we're gonna need all that soon. Oh Pather become the Huns. Well, we'll just have to hope they don't attack us and that they'll just go harass everyone else instead. <laughs> Love oh. gold can stir evil um, men. Give us your gold. Avoid the no. evil it brings. That's definitely a no. Not paying ten thousand. I haven't even seen a swearing yet. How do I even know you exist? Huns are raising something, I think. I just feel like a declaration of war is coming. Oh, they've done it! But they're pinning us down. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm not going to settle it yet, because that's just stupid. With the Huns there. But that is so good. If they could move on and take out some of the Burgundians as well. Oh. We humbly ask for a single, modest subsidy to help our people in a dark time. Uh, um, no. We see why it's been wise to actually stay safe in scans this whole time. It's finally validated my strategy. We, even this far up north, we're not totally safe on the Huns. See, if we had tried to settle here, we'd have had a fight on our hands here. Are the Burgundians at war? I think they are. Yeah. 
so they might be heading this way now. Are the, are these guys, the Moogians. Yeah, they're dead. They are completely dead. One fell swoop, just like that. That's how devastating the hunts can be. They're just one battle and that's it. So, oh, wow, this is just looking more and more like desolate as we go, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look. Top of switching. Oh, no. Let's go to this. We'll go to faction. So, yeah, they carved a clear part. This is what I wanted. Maybe I should be careful what I wish for, but I have needed this to weaken a bit. That's desolate now. So is that. And that'd be good to take because if we can take it when the Huns aren't here and build it up, it'll be a nice walled settlement and can keep itself more safe. I'm going to have to go to war to take it, which is really good. But I'm not going to take it now, I'll tell you why. Because if we take that, it's going to be a, a, a ruin. And if the Huns decide to attack us, then it's going to be a half-stack army from all the colonising with a massive penalty for a destroyed city. So, just, no, we're not doing that. But we'll have to wait and just hope that no one passes on it in the meantime. Um... Yeah, when these guys leave, they'll stop eating all our food as well. Can we see food? Buildings. Hordes in this province, yeah, minus 22. Greedy. So, yeah, help yourselves, guys. Yeah, don't mind me. Fortunately, we had just enough food there that the region didn't go into negative. Otherwise, we would have had to think about exempting it from tax and losing some income. But that didn't happen. And look at that, we're nearly at 100 now. Going to get some mad good growth bonus. Oh, I forgot to move my spy again. Why am I so forgetful? Why, why, does, that, why does that moment always kick in when I click end turn? It never comes before I click it. So as soon as I've clicked end turn, my brain goes off. <laughs> Rather it happened the other way. Okay. Now I don't think they're going to come up to Scansa, the Huns. So I think our home regions are secure. I hope the Burgundians, much as we have good relations, start. Oh, yep. Yeah, I think they've, they've attacked a Scubis, I think. Yeah, looks so like that's been raided. Do more. Right. I did not do that. Um communal grounds oh this is the, this is the chain yeah so I thought communal grounds was a religious chain yeah so we've got a thousand pounds nice nice yep fight that we held it's giving us 20% wealth and culture buildings for three turns buzzing that's going to be good so yeah I'm going to get some money from that and we've upgraded this, so I don't think there's much more now we can do to maximise growth in this region. Once this is at 100, growth will be maximised. That needs 5. That'll probably need 6 or 7. Same for that. So, yeah, it would take a long time to upgrade it, but this, we've maxed out what we can do for now. Yeah, the Burgundians have just been hurt there. Yeah, look at that, the yellow bar's going up. I think they've lost the big stack doing that. There's not much else to raid around here, so I think the, brother, they're going, the Huns will keep sort of going this way, I think. Let's hope so. Let's, let's hope so. We can just look smug up in our frigid peaks. <laughs> okay. We're just going to make money up here. Oh, Spike. Yeah, here it happened this time. I remember the other way around. Let's go have a little look around here. Mm. 
Well, Eastern Rome have done very well in this campaign. It's kind of 50-50 if they do well or don't. They have done well. Sassanid seems to have recovered from a lot of the des desolation. Maybe not. I wonder if the White Hounds are still alive. Curious. They don't keep spawning like the normal Hunters do, I don't think. They they have to stay alive like any other Horde faction. Oh, I really hope they raise this. And oh, if they raise all of these. Okay, if they could raise everything here. I'd still sit here. Wait for the Hunters to go away. <laughs> And then just come on. Sometimes a, like a good long term strategy in this game is almost just wait so long that Attila is dead and the Huns die out. And then that's when you do your expanding. You know, then just, just take whatever's left that hasn't been raised. Right, they're up to something. Oh, they're a horde. Have the Langobards lost their last region? Were they at war with anyone, or do you reckon that was the Huns? Do it, do it. Oh, you cowards. <laughs> Raise it. Make my day. Well, it's weakening them anyway. So. We see now why I was always so loath to expand this part of the game. Oh, get rid of them. Because the Huns spare no one. Right, Bastanians and the East German. Somehow I think the Bastanians would be fine, but the East German separatists have been attacked. Huns and the Markovans are at war. I don't even know where those guys are. I don't think we've seen them yet. Have we? No. Oh. That must be no, that must be here. It must be these guys. <laughs> we haven't actually seen this. Maybe we could send the spies to go have a look. Oh, the Saxons went to war the Langobards, so that's what happened. I see. Hmm. Well, how have they done it, Tad? That would be really annoying. Another quiet turn, but I'm quite happy to just watch from a distance all the chaos unfold here. This is their capital as well that's just been raised to the ground. Basically, they've got to start again there. That's good. Yeah. Eastern Rome looking very strong here. Keep doing what they're doing. Just keep raising more of these mainland Germans while we stay up here. Is that taking up too much food? No, that's taking 15. So even if we demolish that one level, that wouldn't give us enough food to do this. We need an extra food. We don't have that. It's alright. Right, nine immigrant. I think the raising from this town has boosted the immigration here, but this building does reduce the immigration public order penalty a bit. So, and yeah, I think oh, what will the next building be? It might well have to be a farm. And if I make it a farm, so one farm, I'd like a market perhaps, another market, and then final slot. It's going to have to be another public order thing, I think. It might have to be a city religion. That's not, it's not very good at public order, to be honest. Decisions. I want to have... That would help, having this region here, but it's too dangerous right now. Way too dangerous. Ooh! 
the NT and it's turned up. But they're not very strong. Oh, Greetings that's what I'm trying to trade. Right. Have it your way. One more turn and we're going to get that mead hall built and then we'll have like spears and new swordsmen to recruit. Western half of the map is uh, chaos now. Oh, the Caledonians are dead. Ooh. I don't think the picks will turn on their own. Or the Celts. Ooh. Scandalous. And the Roman Sepultus, but quite eh, well. So, right, let's take a little look at these new units. Oh, they look. Good. They <laughs> look really, really good. I am tempted to put these guys. Do they have what stuff? What abilities do they have? They look good as well. I like that red white shield thing. So my attack and damage pretty good. Really good armor. And all right defense. Frenzy. Excellent attack against cavalry. Excellent armor. Encourage discipline. Yes. What was the other one? Chosen Warriors. Oh, they take, they, they, they're so good, they take two turns to recruit. Excellent morale, excellent armor, has missile weapon. Yeah. They're really tough as well. Right, so this army's going to need cavalry. And then it will need some more experience. Might replace these guys. Have we got the best archers we possibly can? It's a choice between foul skirmishers and Nordic hurlers, and I just I feel like hurlers have proven to be the better ranged unit. To be honest. They can fire overhead as well, and they've got much more shots. So let's keep them. Uh, right, so some cavalry. Is it worth doing now? I'll recruit there for go to war. Right, I'm not going down here just yet. Well, that's been built up quickly. Well, I'm, well done. I wonder where the hands went. I live on the south. to do. Maybe we could move and take this now. I feel like the Huns have gone for a while. And as soon as we start building up, the better. And I don't want the Burgundians to grab it. That would really ruin my day. This will be self-sufficient on its own for now. Right, let's force sail it. Should, can we march that? 
I think it's going to take three turns to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I'll go by C. I think it seems to be a bit quicker by C. Who are really at war with. And the Markmans we don't really care about. Now, war, the Saxons and the Huns. Maybe we could take that out just in case it does so. Uh, and try and get there before we do. Yeah, that might be an idea, you know. Ooh, let me do it. If we circumvent it, if we go with the Huns, open up the Huns and join war against uh, the Okay, they've accepted. We'll war them. And I'm just going to click on them again. Burgundians seem to kind of like them. Saxons don't, because they'll war them. So we might get in their good books a bit. Take them out. Yep, they've understandably tried to pull back a bit. Uh, I'm not really tempted to fight this, I'm honest, but... I should do it. Right. Okay. So basically, this is just to, to prevent them from... Uh, how do you say? Colonising got the scans before we get there. Because now that they're a horde faction, they're going to try and settle anywhere they can. So I think it'd be good to take that city, take them out before they do. Oh, come on. No, oh, this is not good at all. This is really bad. The AI has chosen very good weather for themselves. Right, we will... Yeah, so we're going to have a severely reduced with this accuracy. It's going to be packed. We might not even be able to hit anything. Oh, I deserve this. For my shameful tactics. Right, everyone, are you firing? Yep, that's tough. So our accuracy is down. These are land ships, so they shouldn't take too many shots to sink each. Okay, fine. If we lose a few ships here and there, it's far from the end of the world. Oh, one of our ships. Only fire. Not surprised. Destroy that ship again. Nice. Nice. General down. Okay. Good. Right. I think we're going to get some control. That's all right. <laughs> Finding a few shots from the grave. As long as we take them out. Alright, let's turn this back around. The enemy general is dead! Alright, now we just destroy what we can. It was a very clumsy battle, I just I wanted them dead no matter how. The ocean favours us! Victory is upon us! Good. Right, so that's that Langobard thing gone. So that's what I want to do to any that's why that was kind of a example of 
what I want that navy to do should a land army try and take a city by sea. It can be in there and bombard them before they get too close. Um, that's a safe reward. And <laughs> move back. Nice. Okay. So that's cleared our part a bit. Which will be the length of last weekend as well. Mark Lens won't like it. They can love it. Alright, probably will just come down a bit. Right, so the next building here. Uh, there's not many other public order bonus buildings. Really. In fact, almost negative. Settlement now. Yeah, I hope we get there in time. Yeah, I hope if we can get there this turn, it'll be alright. Because we don't want them to have this because then they'll get a city and they might get access to really good troops. So I don't think barbarian towns have very good troop busters in, in you know in towns. But cities they get some good stuff as we've started to see. Food, so let's avoid a food deficit no matter how tiny. Then we'll ooh, get a jetty, that's good. We'll make that into a food port, a fishing port, and that'll give us some food. And I'll probably make the next one after that a. I'll probably one of these. The fishing port will give us, yeah, 50, 50 food, that'll be enough. But then again, no, it'll probably have to be a sanitation one first. Okay. It's not growing. Okay. Right. Fancy. 
Oh yeah, come on. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> try making the geek guy. Oh, low loyalty. Don't like that. Use pants anyway. Mm. How about... Yeah, your pants might have but yeah, you're not very good. I think it's about all the fighters. I think the marksman guy, I don't care about myself yet. Put my hand in there. And let's put the great one in. And... Let's see if I can give him some stuff. Ooh. I'm just peas. Yeah, you can have a sacrificial button. Plus five. Actually, no, we don't need your money because it's a creature money. I'll give him the reason military research one. And you can do minus 10% construction cost. There we go. Cool. Hopefully, it'll start growing soon. Maybe it needs an actual settlement in the main slot before it can start growing. Okay. Well, we've finally done it. We've got presents in the coffee scans left. There was. It's a bit risky because we don't know. The plans like the hunt and return, or anything like that, but we just could not pass that opportunity up. We probably weren't going to get that again. Maybe if the gun needs to hit, we would have been in a much more harder position. Probably harder than it was when it was just the Ruby into it. So it was the right thing to do. We just got to hope that things play out well. We're pretty secure along here. Once this army recovers and this building, this city's built, that can defend itself. The Navy keeps this place secure and. Uh, we've got an army here, so, yeah. Gothi Scanzo is, no, Gothi, Germano Summation is pretty, it's very weak at the moment, it's completely undefended. Um, but that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor is it there. The Gundians still like us, we still have another version pack, which is nice. And military access, which is also nice. Yeah, doing good and starting to hate us, which is okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Saxons might like us a bit because of the war they're under us. In a turn, you know, I might chew up a bit. I wonder if the Franks feel the same way. We'll go up. It's all going up. That's good. Okay. Too many other barbarian factions running around, and that's coming from a guy playing as one. Well, I find it very hard, difficulty. I haven't done it very much. I usually play on like normal or hard. It has been a step up, and this is. It's just the amount of armies running around is quite scary. I guess slow and steady wins the race. Oh, it's going to be into them. That's two slotted factions off the board. Establish trade with Antium to get a thousand pounds reward. Okay. Ooh, Garamantian Scepter's really going for it. Okay, Antiums. Greetings! Speak I will offer up to a thousand because we'll get conversation with that much. Well. A sure thrust. <laughs> Our warriors, both proven and young, have a taste for battle. <laughs> Give us no. word and we... Okay, I don't need trades, can I? That's nice of the game to offer 
a mission that is impossible. Get that up. Slowly growing, and public order is shooting up as well, which is fantastic. So, oh, thank god, I thought the hunts were coming back up north. All right, so they're going back south, that's good. As long as we can get this sort of built up a bit by then, because I think if we're exempting it from tax for quite a while, because it's not a very wealthy area, I might build this up to like level three just for a good old garrison and three defense onagers. We'll see. Normally I don't really level up settlements, but I'm very hard difficulty off. That was it quite necessary. Oh, yep, we can upgrade this now. Oh, God, not, I've got to spend a whole turn knocking down that ruin. <laughs> it is so slow, progress in this game. Alright. That is neither here, nor is it there. Pantheons. Franks. You are welcome. Ooh. Oh, spirits have noticed that I'm actually going to say that. I know it's crazy, paying a thousand. I know it's stupid. It sounds stupid. But I'd rather trade because it's passive income, isn't it? And it helps keep good relations. It, I know it seems stupid. Probably was stupid. But I'm going to take it. I'm actually going to take that. Uh, Saxons, can't trade with them. Gunnies, we're already trading. We're already mates. Geats. Greetings. Now speak. How about I think you money? Ooh, <laughs> not that much. Cool. No, they're not. Much down there? No. Nah. Um. Okay, cool. That's good. I'll be right back. And yeah. Good. So we're building up slowly towards the Royal Minton, which is going to give us yeah level four fish imports, which is great, and the amber market. And 7% worth of commercial buildings. So that's going to be a really good one to have. And then I think I will most likely. I could go for that one as well. Yeah, I might build up to this one. Because that will give us a level 4 livestock pen. That will give us a level 4 smoke house. And then we can just focus on the for a while. But I just. Seen the length of this episode now. Getting up to an hour. I think that's a good place to leave it then. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, we have um, managed to swerve the Huns and add another city to the uh, Jutic map. Duke map. Uh, we've researched more technology. We continue to grow and continue to strengthen our, our economy. We kind of have a surrounding presence on the Bugani. We kind of hemmed them in a bit now, so they shouldn't they shouldn't be expanding anymore, really. And yeah, things are looking quite good there, but we've got lots more to do. We're still behind in terms of army power, and we've got a formulaic plan about what we're going to do in the long term, and hope that the Huns haven't finished their work here, and maybe they can do up here what they seem to have done down here. So, don't miss any of it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.